All right, uh, welcome to part 13. Uh, we are now, um, well, the next, I think, few videos would be pretty simple. Uh, so in this one, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to, I mean, if you look at the regular Twitter, you can see that uh, each user has, like, they can set their display name. It's not just the, the handle, right? So we're going to be setting that for our individual users so that our tweet um, can have uh, a full name here. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're going to be doing that in this uh, video. So let's get started. So this is going to be pretty simple. So if you look at our users table, um, you can see that uh, we got the username column, but we don't have, uh, we'll call that display name, display name column. So we'll add that table. Uh, we're gonna run the migration, add display name to users, and that's gonna be a string column. And um, we're just gonna run the migration. And that adds the display name column to our uh, users table. And here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to say, we're going to have a before um, create, no, a before save attribute. And we're going to say um, set display name. Um, if display display name is blank and the will only set the display name as the username dot humanize we'll just humanize it and what humanize is um it's a rails helper method so that if you have like um I don't know Elon Musk like this, then we call humanize on this. It capitalizes the uh, first letter. And if it's like dot, it has a dot. I think if it's um, underscore, it spaces it out. So it's the way, um, it's like a Rails helper method. I mean, maybe we can make it a little bit more uh, smarter, but I think this is good uh, for our purposes. So only run if display name is blank and just humanize the display name. That way, uh, that way the, the display name table uh, won't be, won't ever be empty, right? So now in our migration, what we're gonna do is after running this, we'll just um, loop through all of our users and just call save on it so that all of the users in our database um, will get the display name display name set. Or, I mean, technically, a smarter way of doing this isn't this way. Um, it's because let's say this is an actual app, right? And you have a lot of users in the table, like you have millions of users in the table. Um, this update will take some time because you're looping through all of the users. So technically, a better way of doing this would be user.updateAll um, display name. Nah, it would be um, pre we want to write a query for this. We want to say update users. Um, users dot where user where um, display name is null. Um, and then you want to set display name to username like this. I think that's I think this is valid. I don't I don't know
I just forget sometimes how to write queries. It's update, do, 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 set. Okay, it's set first. Okay, I think this will work. And then what we do from here is we just say um, active record base um, execute the SQL query. And if we run our okay before we go, we are we can you can see that the display name is set to nil. But if we run the well, first we have to. To make this an up and down statement, we'll just say if comma users display name db. We'll roll back that migration and then we'll run it again. If we do that, um, you'll see that what the record base uh, connection execute you'll see that um, the migration runs and if we look at our first user the display name will be set to set to myself all right and the next thing I want to do after doing that is um, remember the usernames new Ah, wait, oh, well, this looks ugly. Um, so our users username's new, which is, um, right here. We want to also open up our application HTML and we only want to show this if the controller isn't coming from usernames otherwise we just want to yield And in this form, what I want to do is I want to add the display name here. And I also want to, in the usernames controller, um, I, I want this to also accept display name. And that way I can add, I can set my display name like this. And if I look at my user in the database, my display name gets set to my name, which is which is what I want. And now um, the next thing I want to do is write some specs, write some tests for the code that we wrote. The first thing I want to write is a unit test. I want to say um, sets. I want to write a test for setting display name. And the first context is when display name is set. And the second context is when display name is not set. And it does not change the display name if the display name is already set. And what I'll do for this is I'll create a user um, and set the username to me and the display name to myself and if I call user.save to not to change user.reload.display name. I'm gonna run that test I 
want to see why is that breaking uh, there we go all right so that passes it's because um i should have been checking for username being present as well uh, because when the when our user initially signs up, their username is um, it's nil. So we need to check that the username has already been set before running this before save callback. And now here in this one, I want to say it humanizes the um, previously set username. And I want to say user build user. And actually here. Um, I want to build it for I want to build a user first let me let me check that that test runs successfully first again it um it fails it's got user save hmm. ah. if I, I think I should do user save and then expect user dot reload dot display name. I don't know it's it's not working because no, it should be working. Hmm. Expect user dot to equal my name. And that should work. Yep, that works. And here I want to build a user. And I want to set the username to myself and then display name to nil. And I want to save the user and I expect the user display name to equal um, the original username because I set the display name to nil. Ah, wait, capitalized like this. And there we go, that passes. The next thing is um, updating the username's request spec. And in when we're updating, I also want to um, update the, check for the um, user's display name. And I want that to equal to capitalize foobar. And if I run that spec, it should still pass. Perfect. And that's pretty much it for this specific video. But there's one thing I want to go back and kind of change all over. Because we developed this button after kind of midway well a few videos ago, ago not in the beginning of the series so what i want to do is i want to go back to these old forms that we have and i want to update the buttons so that they look twitter ish so i want to set this to button twitter rounded till and that looks better and i also want to log out and update the device forms uh, buttons. So I wanna go to app view, device, registrations new, add button Twitter and rounded pill to this. Same for the password and same for the sessions right here everything looks better okay great all right so that will be it for this video um, if you like these videos subscribe to the channel like this video so that the channel keeps growing and um, stay tuned for the next one thanks